I will post the description the links. A guitar by Francisco Simplicio 1929 from Harris Foundation. And this is the Barcelona School of Guitar Making. So this represents the genius of Francisco Simplicio and the idea to put the sound ports, remove the nonsense central sound port of the Madrid School. This is the Madrid School, and for many reasons, they made so many politics. There has been also, well, since long time ago, conflict with that thing about Catalonia and and then therefore the Madrid school did their best to push down the thing. But Simplicio created a superior system and in fact he made nine of these guitars and he couldn't sell them. <laughs> so now it's more than one million dollars, like Van Gogh thing happened. So that's a beautiful guitar made of satin, which the Harris Foundation has. and. This is the School of Barcelona, the School of Guitar Making, and this is the Madrid School of Guitar Making, characterized by the Centro San Juan idea. Well, of course, this is the Barcelona School, and AG is also based either this design, second generation, or this, which has some small nuances and small difference there, but in quality, also this. And this is the same. So this is both Simplicio, second generation and first generation. Now, uh, because of this conflict with the Barcelona school and the many politics in Madrid to try to put them down, one of the things that they say is that that uh, why Simplicio had this characteristic, he, he had the flag of Spain in the bridge. <laughs> you can see here probably. And, and and then accuse him of this of being nationalist. But oh wait a moment. AG has also the, the flag of Spain in the contour here of this beautiful guitar. And I even I also have the flag of Spain in the pulse. So I don't think we should be accused of that. We are not nationalists, but this is just pure art and pure genius. And thanks to AG now this this thing can continue and finally we can play an amazing guitar which has all this range to, of, of dynamics and all this length of the top to vibrate as opposed to the to the same of the same of the same of the Madrid school so um, I quit in fact three years ago I stopped playing center sample guitars but uh, because this is so much superior and there are many reasons why I will post the description also of, the video, of this video in other videos about Simplicio and well about the creation of what, what he did actually coming from this book, from a fantastic book uh, about Simplicio in Italian and here you see we have all story about him, so very nice thing. So this is the Barcelona School of Guitar Making. One of the incredible things about Simplicio is that he has this brilliant idea to move the sound port and make it this much even in the upper part of the guitar. This part doesn't matter much for sound, while if it has a hole in the center, this has many disadvantages. Amazingly enough, he only produced nine of these instruments, of which I saw just one in a, apparently was in a in an auction, this here, 
which, which is one of the nine guitars. And well, now I don't know why these people were, were selling it so inexpensively. This auction ended, it says, for 32,000 euros, but this actually is, is much more. And God knows if it's original or not, but the thing is that these are extremely valuable instruments, and of course, this is such a great idea that people like Ovation, for instance, were smart enough to notice that this is superior, this idea of the soundboard, in this part, and let the top vibrate all. So this is one thing that many authors they took ideas out of, of this work that Simplicio did around the 30s. <coughs> Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo andalucía. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas eh, elaborando esa música. Luego que descubrí ahí el, la improvisación. La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería, cada músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música, debería, debería aprender porque la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando y cómo estás tocando de qué armonías están en cada momento ¿no?